Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, and welcome. So here good we are. Teacher. Hey, hello there. Long time no see. Yes, because uh, I have all week, uh, the last week, have a huh? problem with my uh, internet here in San Salvador. Okay. And today, thank God, uh, I connect <laughs> because okay. uh, the telefonia um, have a problem. Oh, really? I, I hope not to have more problems. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully we're going to be here. You know, we're going to be, um, well, ready to end the class as we are starting the class. Okay. But yeah, it's great to have you back. Great to see you once yeah. again. Um, okay, so okay. Uh, we are back here for basically the last full week of classes. Next week, we are going to be wrapping up what will be, you know, the last... Uh, Sorry, the last week uh, that we're going to be working. And um, yeah. yeah, for this evening, well, we are going to be, um, you know, talking about something relatively new, I would say, um, as well. We are, of course, going to be also talking about um, how, what you might call about the question that we have for like every day. Or like the the question for um for every single um every single Monday. This time, of course, we're going to be talking about how some of our weekends went. So that's gonna be part of it. Uh then we are going to be talking about um time classes, what we understand as reduced time classes. Um so yeah, we're going to be dealing with uh with these couple topics. I think that it's going to be a relatively easy night. We're not going to go anything uh, with anything too crazy. But so as per usual, it's a Monday and I like to hear about you. I like to hear about how your days might have been in the last couple of them. So tell me, um, how was the weekend, guys? Let's see if we can start by hearing from, from you, Luis. Tell me, how was your weekend? Well, my weekend was very hard, but thank God everything was fine. Um, the 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 cows, the cow uh, is um, really is, is um, the the new the new uh, born mm -hmm. is is. Um, I, I hope this week mm -hmm. from when I begin begun a uh, the the cow have a a new a new cow because I I hope uh, produce more milk mm -hmm. but in the in the week in the last week uh, the the meal the production of meal was. Uh, a little bit, uh, no more, but uh, 20, 25 uh, bottle, botellas, um, some, um, the, and the, yesterday, only 10. Oh, really? Because I don't, I don't have a, a new, a new cow. Uh -huh. uh, because if uh, the la la más vieja the 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 more uh, the uh, oldest the oldest uh, mm -hmm. no don't don't produce uh, nothing nothing oh wow and I have a problem be because uh, I pay the 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 salary but but the uh, the main who working with 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 the family. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. um, I hope that it change this this week. Okay, uh, so hopefully uh, yes. Uh, yes. Hopefully, hopefully we're gonna have more production for uh, for this yes. coming week. Yeah, it yes. will be amazing. Okay. okay. Um. Okay. Now, how about if we get to hear from Joaquin? How was your weekend, Joaquin? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. 
Do you listen to me? Yes, yes, I can. Okay. Uh, my weekend was very interesting because uh, my little child uh, has um, an event in uh, in college college uh, that he studied mm -hmm. by by the sports day mm -hmm. and and I I stay um, I was I was stay with with he participant in in a sport day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, cool. was, it was Saturday in the morning, mm -hmm. or um, almost every almost almost uh, all day. Okay. And the Sunday, I rest in my house. All right. So uh, something that I was thinking about is that it's very early in the school year, at least for me, it's very early for uh, schools to have a school, I mean, sports day already. Because yes. I remember when I was at school, a sports day will be around March, maybe April. I don't remember ever having a sports day on February uh but yeah so uh it's okay it's okay sandra no worries about that uh, but yeah i remember that that you know sports day at least for me it used to be relatively late in the um in the in the year not this early but that's great you know spending some time with your with your children and uh, also having fun i will assume with them it's always welcome so very good Nice, nice, nice. And also the fact that you got to rest on Sunday. Well, I think Sundays are normally designed for that. You know, Sundays are, in English, they even say, or, or uh, in the US, they even say that Sunday is a fun day because normally they go out, they do things that they don't uh, have time to do in the rest of the days. Because, I mean, during the week or during the weekdays from Monday to Friday, we might be working. And on Saturday is the day that we take to, I don't know, run, run errands, do chores. And uh, Sunday is basically the day off, the day where we, or when we can um, go ahead and have some fun. So nice, very nice. Okay, um, thank you very much for sharing. Now, how about the case of uh, Lourdes? Tell me Lourdes, how was your week? Hi. Uh, well, my weekend, I use it to rest a lot. Um, I could go to buy some stuff for the house and the grocery, uh, the groceries for the week. Mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of relaxed, I think, because um, those places were not so crowded. And I could buy um, medical. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes it is it's too crowded, it's, it's kind of stressful. Um, because the lines to pay are so long, but this time was it was fine. So I, I came home um, really fine. <laughs> All right, cool, very cool. Okay, so uh, not too much to do, but still, you know, weekends sometimes are like that. Weekends sometimes can um, can be easy. They can turn into uh, into those easy days where when we simply um, just run a few things and then just get to rest and other times with weekends tend to get hectic i don't know if you guys have ever used that word hectic alguna vez han utilizado o han escuchado esa palabra when something get, gets hectic no. no 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 okay so let me see if i can get it right because i think it is uh, <clears throat> uh no things getting hectic let me see I only use it though. I have never uh, really seen how it's spelled. Getting hectic. Hectic. Here we go. Uh, when things... Yes. So here we go. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever also used the phrase bananas when someone or something turns bananas. Have you ever uh, heard that? ¿Saben por qué se dice que alguien está bananas? No. 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 Nadie no. nunca? No. Oh, okay. So, uh, when things are hectic, 
eh, o sea, les decía, ¿verdad? Que, por ejemplo, el caso de Lourdes es que su fin de semana estuvo calmado, o sea, no hubo mucho, mucho que hacer, ¿verdad? Oh. Entonces, significa que, pues sí, es, that's an, an, an easy, uh, an easy weekend, it's not something too crazy, not something too hectic. Sí, es hectic es cuando las cosas se ponen locas, o sea, cuando hay un montón de cosas que hacer. Luego, tenemos la otra. Cuando, when things get bananas, or when you are, uh, when we tell someone you are bananas, it means that things go crazy or that person is crazy. Okay. Entonces, um, yeah, basically, that's going to be, um, uh, when, when things get hectic, hectic or with, when things uh, get bananas or when someone is bananas. Porque también le podemos decir a alguien, ¿verdad? You are bananas. Cuando opinamos que esa persona... O sea, y no solo porque esté loco, sino porque probablemente esté teniendo una idea, digamos, descabellada. O sea, si, qué sé yo, de la nada. O están ustedes simplemente ahí sentados en su casa y alguien dice, hey, ¿y si robamos un banco? So that is bananas. <risa> sí, o sea, eso es algo que alguien puede decir, you are bananas. Entonces, sí, es bastante común en inglés, de hecho, um, para, digamos, referirse a algo o a alguien que, que está hablando de algo complicado. Así que, ajá. Okay, so hectic and bananas. Both things hectic can be used, you know, to, re to refer to things that are like that. Um, había otra, que ese es un idiom que sí me acuerdo que se los enseñó una vez. Uh, oh, yeah, things go south. When something goes south. Creo que ese se los mencioné en algún momento. No sé si recuerdan el, para qué se utiliza. When, when, when we say that something went south. No. No, tampoco. No. That's what I heard about when the electricity went out. Yeah, eso es go out, pero en este caso es go, go. south. Sí, go uh, goes south. Out, uh, go south. Go south. south. Digamos, let's say that you guys were uh, from your job. Your boss told you, um, I need you to, to write a report on this situation for Sunday. And oh, let's say for, for Tuesday. Yeah, because Sunday, we don't work. We don't normally work on Sunday. But let's say that for Tuesday, right? but you don't have the time or you just get to a very complicated situation at, at work like the report was about something weird or too crazy so you can tell him hmm things went south sí o sea es como que las cosas se pusieron locas y por eso yo no pude terminar el 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 reporte o si no en otro momento que se puede utilizar digamos que es que ustedes simplemente un día normal caminando en la calle y hay un accidente y luego cierran toda la calle y todo el desorden, no sé, y ustedes se quedan encerrados en eso porque, ajá, fue una cosa, un desorden muy grande y cuando llegan a la casa ya bien tarde, ¿verdad? La familia les pregunta, ¿qué pasó vos? So you can tell them, things went south, ¿sí? When something goes south, then it means that th things got complicated, like you were not planning for something to happen, but then everything just went south And it all became a mess. So basically, that's when we're going to be using the phrase that something went south. So very, it's, it's similar, similar to things getting hectic, but hectic is more in a, in a way that you are busy and that um, you knew that you would have to do a few things, but you got in the, in, the, in the end, you got even busier than you imagined. But things going south is something that happens randomly, something that happens when you don't expect it to happen. So okay. those phrases, you know, you can use um, to refer to, situa to situations like that when you are not expecting something, when you're not planning to be um, busy or, um, you know, doing too much, but at the end you have to. So, yeah. Bueno, vamos a ver. Uh, let's hear from um, uh, Jancy. How about you, Jancy? How was your weekend? Okay. I was in, at home with my family, but my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> It's, uh, how do you say, botando, tirando, throw the hair house. <laughs> yeah, the, actually, it would be um, tearing down, tearing down. Tearing down yeah, hair tearing house. Down. And there is many dust. Um, do you say polvito? I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it's thin yes. dust. So it's a thin dust, o sea, como polvo fino. Thin yes. dust. And oh. a part of the winds that are making in this, in Zacatecoluca, there are many winds. I don't know in, in the other um, country. I don't know. But in Zacatecoluca, all the night, 
it was uh, many wins. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Same here, you know, okay. it has been very, very, very horrible. Um, because, well, actually, like a week ago, I was, um, I don't know if you guys will get it, but I was like throwing roses to a tree that I myself planted at my girlfriend's house. And right now it's basically falling down because of the wind, because the tree was relatively young. It's like two, year, two years old. Um, but it's it's actually falling down because of the wind, because of the hard winds, because the tree was not uh, well rooted down. So, yeah. And many things. Actually, yesterday I saw a girl getting hit by a... Uh, by, uh... Ah, yo me sabía el nombre de esto. Dios, hoy estoy quedando mal. Es... Mm. Mm. Yo tengo la punta de la lengua. Una lámina, sí. O sea, vi una muchacha estaba esperando el bus y le pasó pegando una lámina en la cabeza. O sea, pobrecita. Wow. Después, fuimos, después mi cuñado y yo fuimos a desarmar la galera que estaba, porque o sea, era una galera abandonada que tenía una agenda gente que vendía tortillas. Entonces, y ahí estaba la galera, simplemente tirada. Ah, pues, y la muchacha estaba esperando el bus. Y vamos a ella que no se movía, porque, ajá, o sea, bien veía que estaba la galera ya desarmándose y ella se quedaba quieta ahí esperando todavía. Wow. Pero, pero sí, o sea, fue bien, bien feo, pues, cuando se vio eso, cómo la pasó golpeando. So, yeah, the wind has been very, very hard. This, this very hard. Days. In yeah. Chalate, on the farm, mm -hmm. two old tree fell down. Really? Yes, it very, very strong. Oh, oh. Yeah. but uh, the tree uh, are old, very, mm -hmm. very old. And... Um, More or less three, uh, a 10 meter uh, up. Okay, so yes. 10 meters high. The altura, yes. Mm -hmm. 10 the meters size. high. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a big tree. That's a, a big, big tree, tree to be falling down mm -hmm. next to. Yeah. yeah, that's a big tree. Yeah, so you see, it has been very, very hard. So pretty understandable. In my house, we normally do... Uh, How can we call it? A deep cleaning on, sun, on on Saturdays. This week we didn't even try. My sister and I we didn't even try because it was it was too dusty, too 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 bad. And uh, our roof is actually tailed. No sé si saben qué son las tails. 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 Yeah. yeah. Historietas. Huh? No. Tail. Historieta? Tails. Las tejas. Yeah. Yes, ah, tales. Ah. Yes. Tales. Suena a cuento. Suena a cuento, pero no. Oh, tales. Yeah. Maybe it's T A I L, right? Mm, let me see. Uh, I think so. It is very similar. It's porque tale es el cuento. Uh -huh. Tale. Mm -hmm. So when when hablamos de cuento sería tale. Yeah, tale, tale, mm -hmm. tale, tale. But uh, yeah, when we talk about uh, the tails, it's, let me see, da, 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 da. Ta, no, no sería tail, it's tile, tile, oh, yeah. uh -huh. tile, eso es la forma. El, so our, our, but the thing is, our roof is, is tiled. So oh, a, right. lot of, a lot of dust, you know, uh, get, gets in between uh, the different tiles. And um, yeah, it's, it's something... Ese de ahí, ese tail, es, es para, para referirnos a los cuentos. Yes. Ajá, ese es de los for cuentos. For storytellers. Mm -hmm. Ajá, let me see. Uh, que se me fue de nuevo. Porque es que el problema es que se parece mucho a cómo se escribe. Um, tile. A cómo se escribe, cómo se llama. Hola. Es it. Tile. Ya. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, it's tile. Básicamente tile, se, yeah. se escribe tile. Ajá. Tile. 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 Sí. Entonces, mm -hmm. y la otra, la tail, que es, que es lo que yo estaba diciendo, yeah. esa es, es cola. Es cuando hablamos acerca de como los animales. Uh, they have tail. A tail. Uh -huh, tail. Sí, uh -huh. es la cola. Uh -huh, versus tile. But the thing is, our roof is tiled and uh, it gets like a lot of filtrations and a lot of that thin uh, dust that Jancy was describing, we get a lot of that. So on, on everything, like our, our, our beds, our sofas, tables, everything gets dusty. So yeah, it's, it's very, very, very difficult. With the window, because when it rains or when it's like a regular day, it's fresh. It's very fresh. But when it's windy, it's just a horrible experience. But yeah, yeah. 
there is a, a lot of dust and that is why there are a lot of people with the flu. Actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. my, son, yeah. my son has the flu. Yeah, with, uh, I think I told you the other day that uh, my my girlfriend's grandma, she passed and basically all of her family uh, are having issues with that right now. They have coughs or or um, or uh, not the flu. Ahora que menciona eso, no sé si a ustedes les di esa clase. Creo que a ustedes no les hablé acerca de medicina, ¿verdad? Nunca. Creo no. que el, el curso de ustedes no tuvo nada que ver con medicina. <clears throat> a ver, hay una cosa bien importante. Que nosotros, um, muchas veces los profes es, enseñan acerca de eso, acerca de the flu. Y estamos acostumbrados a que the flu es simplemente tener tos, ¿verdad? Según nosotros. Pero no. Eh, yo se los digo ya de experiencia de primera mano. Eh, que no, the flu es algo bien, bien distinto. En inglés en sí hay tres diferentes nombres para describir las enfermedades así respiratorias, ¿verdad? Que, que, que podemos tener. Al menos las básicas. Primero está el cold. Cuando, when you have a cold, it's like you have a runny nose. Oh, yeah. ¿sí? O sea, tienen como la nariz mucosa. Um, mm -hmm. You have a fever. You may have a headache. And you may be sneezing. Sí, o sea, pueden estar... Tornudando. So yeah, you may be sneezing, you may uh, have a runny nose and have a, a headache and, and a fever. So that will be a cold, you know, that will be like a maybe some, um, some, 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 some what? Some cough, okay, but not too much. Now, when you have a cough, you have a fever, you have a headache, you have a lot of coughing and sneezing. And of course, the runny nose. And then you will also have some flema at the end. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's the, the normal symptoms of a cold. I mean, I mean a cough. Que es lo que sería la tos, o sea, lo que más nos da a nosotros. The <laughs> flu is something very, very similar to COVID, oh. right? So yeah, it's very similar to that. Um, the flu, actually, every year, or it is supposed that every year, the flu takes the lives of around 100,000 people in the U.S. or in the northern region of, of our world because it is a, a, it's kind of an allergy, but it is a sickness that affects people only during the coldest times, like during the winter. That's when the flu is going to be more active. So we don't get the flu over here or down here on, on this hemisphere. We don't necessarily get the flu. The flu happens mostly on places that it's, where it's very cold. Um, allergy? Allergy? It's not an, it, it starts like an allergy. O sea, una vez que yo estuve a punto de morirme en Estados Unidos, yo pensé que eso era lo que tenía, pero no, todo lo que tenía era una alergia. O sea, yo creí que era, que era de flu y les juro que esa vez yo me preocupé porque me dolía todo el cuerpo, no pude trabajar, o sea, no me podía ni parar. Eh, la cabeza sentía que me bailaba por todos lados, no comí nada en todo el día y lo gracioso es que como pues... Eh, es la vida a veces en Estados Unidos, me imagino que en algún punto les habrán contado eso, que pues cada quien tiene su rutina, ¿verdad? En mi caso, pues yo me levantaba para trabajar a eso de las 7, más o menos, eh, pero a la hora que yo salía, que yo estaba ya en, eh, esperando el bus, ya la familia ya se había ido, o sea, ya no había nadie en la casa, entonces para ellos era como que se iban, o sea, y nos veíamos en la noche, pero en la mañana a nadie esperaba a nadie, nadie saludaba a nadie, el desayuno todos los días solos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ese día yo me quedé ahí muriéndome en la casa y nadie se dio cuenta. O sea, fue como que, pues sí, en la noche todos simplemente nos despedimos, nos fuimos a dormir y ya. Pero, pero sí, al final resultó que era el polen lo que a mí me había afectado. Y me habían dado los síntomas así como de flu, pero it was not. It was actually an allergy. Pero el flu, o sea, después del primer día es cuando empieza a tener llagas la gente en la piel y así un montón de, de afecciones. Entonces, y, y sí, o sea, es como un montón más peligroso tener the flu que tener una gripe. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bit similar, okay. but it's more deadly yes. when you have the flu. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so one more person. I'm going to hear from one more, and I think that person is going to be you, Walter. Tell me, how was your weekend? Oh, it was amazing. I, I had uh, some problems. Uh, my weekend start on Friday. Mm -hmm. Because uh, my wife and me uh, attend uh, uh, the church that I attend, mm -hmm. and that place uh, prepare some surprise for the 
couples in order to celebrate the San Valentine's Day, prepare mm -hmm. some, some, some dinner for a marriage. Mm -hmm. And inviting us, it uh, was amazing. For such reason, I couldn't attend to the class on time. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday, Saturday, my car broke down. Uh, I was so uh, difficult to try to fix that. Mm -hmm. But at the end, I fixed. And Sunday, I went to the church for the morning. My wife went to visit my parent in law. Mm -hmm. I feel free all the afternoon on the Sunday and became so a coach potato watching uh, some series in Netflix. All the All afternoon, right. good, free, completely. So you turned into yeah. a couch potato. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, very nice. Okay, so uh, now that we have heard about some of our weekend activities, we are going to work on something. I didn't want to tell you the other day, but uh, I have an activity that I want you guys to carry out. It is supposed to be a advanced level activity. I have been wanting to do this for quite some time already. And I think you are going to be able to, um, to get it done. So what we're going to do is that we're going to get a couple of questions, all right? Um, now, the thing is that we're also going to be getting separated in breaker rooms. It's gonna be large groups this time. And what you guys will have to do is that you will get these questions, get a screenshot of the question and, or the questions, um, and yeah, you then are going to have to answer to the best of your knowledge. Okay. I have the answers for all of them, but I want to know how well you can answer these questions. They are supposed to be common knowledge questions, things that basically everyone, uh, should know. So, yeah, I think that, as I mentioned, you guys are going to be able um, you know, to solve them out. You're going to be as well, as I, sorry, as I mentioned, separated into, into bigger groups, not as regular practices. But what I need you to do is that everyone has to give their own opinion. I'm going to be jumping between groups to see if we are participating because the idea is that uh, among all of us, we can create or generate an answer for the questions. There, it's like six questions, I think, let me see uh three it's actually seven so it's seven questions those seven questions are the ones that i need you guys to answer okay so now i'm going to show the i'm going to show you them here and these are the one once once uh oh the ex cuando regresemos de eso vamos a hacer lo del exercise sandra cuando regresemos de esto okay entonces so as I was saying, we're going to get separated. Okay, it's going to be actually three groups. Uh, two of them are going to be with five people and one of them is going to be with, with six people. Um, let's get an answer for the questions. And when we come back, we're going to share what we got into, you know, what answer did we get at the end of it? I just want you guys to think logically, but at the same time, be creative. Okay, so those are the, basically the ideas. To think logically, but also be a little bit creative with English and with the knowledge that you may have. So the first question is very simple. A little girl kicks a soccer ball. It goes 10 feet and comes back to her. How is this possible? What two things can you never eat for breakfast? What is always coming but never arrives? What gets wetter the more it dries. What was the president's name in 1992? What world, uh, what, sorry, what word would you use? I think I'm going to change this one. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do 1996. Okay, so 1996. What word would you use to describe a, a man who has, who, who does not have all his fingers on one hand? What word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? Okay, so there you have them. Those are the questions. Now, go ahead, take the screenshots, and I'm going to start creating the breakout rooms. You're going to be divided. We're going to have, what would you like, 10 minutes? 
15 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the minutes. thing is this uh this question about that. Yeah, discuss the questions and get to an answer. Okay, get okay. To, get to an agreement, get to an answer. Uh, only, only one answer? Yes, only, only one, one answer, answer for each. Only one answer okay. for each uh with the team. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I have a I have a question with the with the question number uh, I think it is number six. Le voy a poner el número mejor, six. para que sea fácil identificarlas. Yeah, number uh, six. Okay. What was the president of El Salvador of, obviously, of, or another country? No, uh, por, eso cambié, por eso cambié la fecha, para que sea El Salvador, para que así no tengamos ningún problema. Sí. So, okay. yeah, we're going to go with El Salvador. Ya lo está googleando, Bachuba. Okay. So... Uh. So yeah, no, we're gonna go with El Salvador. That. On that. So number five is gonna be about El Salvador. Okay, so 15 minutes. It's 8:30 right now. We're gonna get back here at 8:45. Okay, so let's get divided. Let's get to um to discuss them and get to one single question for each. <clears throat> sorry, one single answer for each question. So go ahead, guys. and comes back to her. How is this possible? ¿Cómo es esto posible? I don't have idea. <laughs> a little girl kicks a soccer ball. It goes 10 feet and comes back to her. Oh, how is this possible? Oh, like a boomerang. Like a boomerang. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Hi, Catherine. Hi, uh, Daniel. Catherine. Um, Daniel. Do you have an idea for the first question? It's not quite, yes, it's question. Hi, good evening, Sandra. Hello, how are you, Daniel? How are you? Sandra, Catherine, and Yancy. Okay. Hi, hi. Okay. For the first, first question, what do you think can you never eat for breakfast? No, the first, I, I we don't have. Uh -huh. no. The first one. It could be a boomerang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a boomerang. <laughs> a boomerang. <laughs> wow, that's what I think. Um, what about you, Catherine? Catherine? Can you hear me, Catherine? No, she's. Es cierto, es a little gear es la primera. ¿no? <laughs> she kicked. Kicked up. Yes. And the second one. What, oh, what two things can you never eat for oh. breakfast? In my case, chicken for me. Yeah, I never eat uh, heavy things. Fish, fish, fish and, and chicken. And meat, <laughs> meat. Okay, meat is for chicken or meat or fish. Okay, mm -hmm. meat. Yeah, because meat it could, it could be a, a beef from beef, you know, the the rest. Ah, or yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, some some people eat a uh, how do you say chorizo? <laughs> Selfish. Selfish. Yeah. But is a meat? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Meat and other. Yeah, fish. it makes sense. It's same. Chicken, fish, or meat. I never eat in, in, in my breakfast. No. It's very, it's very heavy for the uh, yeah. breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Number three, number three. What? Maybe you mean? Yes. In the case, uh, yeah. I don't meat? like to eat of for breakfast. Uh, 
Um, é. O Pussas. Não. É, o Pussas. So breakfast is, is, is acceptable. Yes. Uh, for, in my case. So Arrive. De lo que siempre va, viene y no. Y no But never arrive. I have no idea. <laughs> no. Um, it's like a, a guess. <laughs> I don't know what. Tip up. Um, Catherine say the first one, kit, kit up. Kit top. Mm -hmm. Oh, because the, the girl was very strong. Yes. Um, the number four. Number, but number three, nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do you have idea, Antonia? The nineteen ninety six. I don't remember. Let me see. Uh, no, the number three. three. Yes. A number three. <laughs> yes. Que se moja más de seca. Ah. Entre más se moja, más se seca. Oh, my God. What is it? In uh, my case, uh, are two things can you can I never eat for a breakfast is a uh, chicken soup. I don't know or, or meat oh, really? soup. <laughs> yeah, there are mm. some some departments in Oriental area that have a custom to eat a uh, a soup. Yeah, that I don't like it in the in the morning. I prefer to eat beans with. With beans, right? Beans and, yeah. and eggs, yeah. For me, yes. it's, a, it's a normal that is to like eat that. A regular Salvadorian breakfast, yes. Yes. Yeah. Or, or another, yeah. Another things I I try to avoid to eat in the morning is tortillas. <gasps> I get custom to eat a, a bread, only bread. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's cool. <laughs> what a, what a, about you, yeah. Liz? Uh, well, in my case, I I can never eat meat. It hurts me because I prefer um, eggs, beans, uh, cheese, and the cup of coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, of it's course. My, my... Of and milk, I, I suppose, Liz. You uh, produce milk. Yes, yes. And milk. <laughs> and milk, yes. Because I combine the coffee with milk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? Okay. What me say? Jenny? Hi, Jenny. Hi. You heard? Okay. I have a problem with my computer. No worries, uh, no worries. What is I, your opinion about okay. that? Uh, I don't like the the eggs. Estrellados, no. Scramble or not? Oh, I don't no, know how to say it. Is... Scrambles or revueltos? I like Funny like, yeah. up. Yeah. Like funny up again. Yeah. Something like that. Like funny up. I don't, I don't, I don't know where. When, when I say huevo estrellado, I don't like it. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. It's a huevo estrellado. Mm -hmm. I don't like them either. It's like, mm -mm. I prefer uh, them like scramble. Uh, mm -hmm. I imagine uh, you doesn't like... Uh, Huevo divorciado sounds uh, 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 like saying, no? It's similar, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name? Divorciado. I don't know. The name's that. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I think 
doesn't have traduction, <laughs> but uh, are a typical food in El Salvador, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing, lower this. Hi. Hi. Uh, in my case, I cannot eat uh, meat or something too sweet. Like, I don't know, have you seen uh, like the waffles or the mm -hmm. hot cakes at Denny's? They are so huge and covered with a lot of sugar and fruit. Mm -hmm. I think that is too much. Mm -hmm. Next one. Next question. Number three. Yeah. What is what? always coming but never arrive? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have no idea. <laughs> in, my, siempre... in my case, yes. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que siempre esperamos que llegue y nunca llega? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, yeah. I think it could be the, the future. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> You in, my in my case, won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> you always are wishing that, but it never comes. <laughs> in my so. case, all, all, always I um I wait, but uh the born the new cow um oh never you arrived. Con you continue <laughs> the, the, waiting yes, for <laughs> in the second week I wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, let me ask you, do you sleep at night? I mean, or are you still like waiting <laughs> for it? It's worth the, the, the way because you, you receive two. It's not normal, you receive two. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm waiting uh, for a yo. <laughs> I, I will yo because I, I don't have, no, uh, now oh. I don't have. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a yo. Oh. Nice. Oh, okay. Jenny? Yes, I have 10, 10 months. Okay. Uh, one, the last? Thing it's a trick. It's a tricky one. So, what word is it? It is a trick one. Yes. Mm -hmm. What word is spelling correctly? It's spelled in every single dictionary. Cada dictionary is incorrect. Um, what word is spelling correctly in every single dictionary? Are you that it? <laughs> no. A, B, C, A, B, C, alphabet. Why? Why? Wrong. <laughs> Many words. Wrong. <laughs> Too much words. Mm, um, or too many words, I mean. Yes, the answer is wrong. The answer is Why? wrong. <laughs> Why, cut? Give me a reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is the reason? And, and the number seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I remember uh, one in in my when I Your was opinion. a child. When I was a child, uh, a child, a child. Uh, I know one man with that uh, with that uh, finger fingers without one fingers. finger in her hand, mm -hmm. um, and the nicknames it was. Um, Kuto, Kuto, Kuto. Kuto. Kuto, así, así le decían. Porque le faltaba ah. uno, pero a este le faltan todos. Manco. Manco es porque no tiene mano y este no sí tiene, tiene mano. mano, solo que no tiene dedo. Oh my God. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We number can... seven. <laughs> okay. What, what word, word is spelled, spelled incorrect in very single dictionary? In our single dictionary. In every dictionary. It's very strange because in every dictionary. A ver, a ver, a ver. So here we are. So I am not going to be asking from your group, Sandra. <laughs> I'm not going to ask him from you guys. <laughs> oh, no. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be the last ones on participating, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, because, mm -hmm. yeah, I noticed that there was something going on there. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, um, so how was it? Was it fun? I, I like one thing, you know, there was one group that was just sharing and that was great. The idea was mainly that the idea was to get you guys talking, to get you guys speaking English. And I like the fact that you only use Spanish to talk about some words like um, I think it was cuto. Yeah. Like, for example, when Joaquin <laughs> mentioned someone who was a cuto, I was like, OK, that, I mean, it's very hard to know how to say that in English. Right. So it's okay, you can say el cuto, as, as far as you don't add a, a, a P on that. Uh, but yeah, because Catherine, the reason why, because you, know, you knew the answers. That's why, that's why I'm not, I'm not getting to, um, to you guys until last. Um, so let me share here. My, my hamster, my hamster running teacher. Really, was it running? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still, like, I, you know, I noticed about something, that, some I noticed something yeah. that was kind of smart on my side. Hay una cosa de la que nunca, nunca me, me percato a veces hasta que voy a los breakout rooms. O sea, es un detalle bien, bien importante que, o sea, yo siempre que estoy compartiéndoles la pantalla, tengo aquí al lado, ¿verdad? Todas las demás slides. Entonces, y esa, exactamente, no sé por qué temprano se me ocurrió eh, dejarla más abajo. O sea, porque esta fue como que tenía otras cosas aquí, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta no la dejé aquí. Y... Ahorita pensé, uy, si lo hubiera dejado ahí, hubieran estado ahí como chinito queriendo ver a ver qué decía. O sea, si hubiera estado ese slide justo ahí donde está ahorita, está acá. Pero bueno, entonces, so we have the first one. Um, it was kind of simple. It was not that hard. It was not uh, that, uh, you know, that, that tricky, in my opinion. I think I would have not thought of the answer, to be honest. But first... So what was your answer? Let's see if I can get the answer to the first one from uh, Amilcar. A little girl kicks a soccer ball. It goes 10 feet and comes back to her. How is this possible? What is your answer to this question? What did you guys get to uh, with this question, Amilcar? Um, my... My... Well, my answer was uh, uh, that the little girl mm -hmm. uh, throw the ball to to the to the wall. <laughs> okay. To the so wall she... uh, and the wall uh, make make the ball uh, return to the girl. Okay, good idea. That is a good idea. <laughs> or uh, the second idea is that that the that the little girl uh, throw the ball to to the air and the ball. Uh, come back to, to her okay so that's basically <laughs> it it's called gravity you see <laughs> okay, so okay. she basically kicked it up she kicked the ball up <laughs> and of course if you kick something or throw something up it's gonna come back you know there's okay. no magic on that so yeah, well, at least no real magic it's physical magic 
But yeah, it's basically because of gravity. So if you throw something up, it's going to come back to you. So the girl kicked the ball up and the ball came down to her. There was no magnets. There was no water, no nothing else. I like the idea that Sandra was having. She thought it was like a boomerang. But uh, yeah, it would be like if you add, you know, a boomerang to the ball, maybe that's how it will kind of work. So yeah, the first one is gravity. Very good. Gravity. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. It's gravity. Oh. All right, number two. What two things can never... Esta me encantó. Esta fue en la que más se trabaron la mayoría. Platicar y platicar y platicar. So what two things can you never eat for breakfast? Uh, Jose Luis, go ahead. Um, lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. Very good. Now, many people or many of your classmates were like, uh, we cannot have like huevos divorciados. uno por ahí. I don't know how to say what you were And I was like, yeah. My girl. You divorce ex? <laughs> no. Les juro que deseaba participar, quería participar, pero era como que no, mejor lo voy a dejar. Someone else said, I cannot eat chicken. Someone else said, I cannot eat fish. So many ideas were, you know, coming and going uh, with this, with this uh, situation here, with what two things cannot be eaten for breakfast and it's basically lunch and dinner so those are the two things that you cannot eat at breakfast because well they are a different meal all right Catherine uh, oh wait no I think you cannot uh speak right now right so no don't worry I think I'm gonna go with Shuba how about you Shuba with number three what is always coming but never arrives what is something that is always coming but it never arrives oh yeah I have not the correct answer of that question, but let me tell you that in my group, uh, uh -huh. I start to speak, but nobody answer me. I don't know if they were be at in the last minute. I asked for, to participate, yes, my classmate, but the time uh, the time was over. Mm -hmm. uh, but in in that specific a specifically question I have not the answer honestly but when I looking for the last question I I say this is such a question so I got the idea of the, of the, of the game mm -hmm. but I have the answer yeah okay well um some people were saying that it's the future and that will not be too far from reality some other people mention other things like new seasons or, or uh, the tomorrow. Next yeah, but the actual answer is tomorrow. Oh. So, yeah, we say that in English. <laughs> we say that to, we say that in English a lot, and it's also in 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 songs and in 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 um in poems and in literature. It's everywhere, you know. Tomorrow never comes. It's always coming, but it never arrives because as soon as you get to it. It's going to be another tomorrow. And when you get to that tomorrow, there's going to be another tomorrow. So you can never get to that tomorrow. Now, the next one. This one is easy. I think like this one, this one, basically everybody got it. Let's hear from Lourdes. What is the answer to the question number four? What gets wetter the more it dries? What do you think, Lourdes? I think maybe it's the towel. <laughs> yeah, that's easy, right? I think everyone got that one. I mean, what gets wetter, the more it dries. It's a towel. A towel gets wetter, the more it dries. It, gets, it lets you dry, but it gets wet. So yeah, it's a towel. All right, let's hear from Jacqueline. Tell me, Jacqueline, what was the president's name in 1996? I think, teacher, huh? in my group, we mm -hmm. think... <laughs> Uh -huh. His name was Armando Calderon Sol. President. Okay. That was the president <laughs> of that era. Okay, that was the president of that era. But our president, or the current president, that's the one we're talking about. What was the president's name in 1996? It is Can I answer this? The same as today. Uh, I haven't... Even... I have been looking for the answer of this. Mm -hmm. I think it is the same name. Yes, the same as today. Uh, it is basically the same ah, as today. Yeah. 
Sí, o sea, ¿verdad? si el presidente fuese más joven que del 96, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Ya fuese otro. Pero, o sea, ya fuese otra cosa. Pero el presidente, en el, que, el presidente actual, o sea, en el 96, ya tenía el nombre que tiene ahora. So, yeah, that's basically the answer. So, the president's name in 1996. I have a tricky question for you mm -hmm. in the last part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let's see. What word would you use to describe a man who does not have all his fingers in one, on one hand? What word will you use to describe a man who does not have all his fingers on one hand? ¿Cómo lo vamos a describir? A ver, ¿dónde que se me hizo? Ahí está, Joaquín. ¿Cómo se le dice? Dígalo sin miedo. Cuto. Cuto, ¿ah? ¿eh? El cuto. No, it's not a cuto. Walter, how, how, uh, what word would you use to describe a man who does not have all his fingers on one hand? ¿Cómo lo describiría usted, Walter? Handicap. Handicap. Okay, Sandra, how about you? How would you describe a man who does not have, huh? Manco. Manco. Huh? Ah, no, no, no. No, a manco is that uh, a person that doesn't have a, a complete. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, So, cool. so oh, <laughs> un manco es uno que no puede jugar free. <laughs> But no, uh, so, not necessarily. It's a normal person. It's a normal person. Think about it. What world would you use to describe a man who does not have all his fingers on one hand? All of them. The It's... ten fingers only on one hand. This person has five fingers on each hand they don't have all his fingers on one hand como le llamamos a alguien que no tiene todos sus dedos en una mano si tuviera todos sus dedos en una mano entonces tendría 10 dedos en una mano verdad así que por eso alguien que no tiene los 10 dedos en una mano but maybe they have that is a normal person a normal that's a freaky yeah that's a normal person because someone who has 10 fingers yeah someone who has 10 fingers 10 fingers on one hand Well, that would be weird. That would be a weird person, you know? Someone who can <laughs> grab onto anything. O sea, no podría tener excess. There is no name for that. Basically, no. Basically, <laughs> no. no, it's so, so, simply weird. Special. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, in this one, it's just a normal person. And the last one. What word, sorry, what word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? Por ahí teníamos que Catherine pensaba que era wrong y yo pensé, you are wrong. <laughs> sí, cuando ella escribió wrong, I said, no, you're wrong. Because it is not wrong. So, uh, what word do you guys think it is? Incorrectly. Incorrectly, exactly. That's the one. The one word is spelled incorrectly. Sí, o sea, ¿qué palabra se escribe Digamos, en español, ¿verdad? ¿Qué palabras se escribe incorrectamente en todos los diccionarios? Incorrectamente. O se, se deletrea incorrectamente en todos los diccionarios. Pues, incorrectamente. Because that's the word. So, yeah. In every dictionary you look for this word, you're going to find it spelled as incorrectly. So, there you have it. You know, there was actually no magic. Now, Chuba, tell me, what was your tricky question for us? Yeah, I have a, a tricky question for you for all the... My... Okay. Mm -hmm. What question can you never answer with a yes? What answer you can, well, sorry, what question you cannot answer with a no, yes? What question? Uh, yeah. mm, I don't know. What is it? Are you asleep yet? Ah, are you asleep? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. okay. What question But you can answer with that, a yes? That means on time because somebody told you. But in the, another question, are you coming or, yeah? No, can you answer? No, I'm in the same plane or something like that. Yes, uh -huh. or, or joking. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. So now the last one. <laughs> Esa es la última para todos aquí antes que nos vayamos. Esa es la, se la voy a decir eh, en español, sí. ¿Qué árbol, sí, ¿Qué árbol podemos tener todo el tiempo en nuestra mano? 
La planta. The palm. The palm. Yes. The palm. La palm. Oh. <laughs> la palm. <laughs> Hoy ya estamos activados, va. Hoy sí. Ah, ahorita tíreme lo que quieras. Hijo, We are ready, mister. Sí, ahorita sí. Pero bueno, lastimosamente se les acabó la feria. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, guys. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do that, Sandra. The thing that we have been talking about, we're going to do that tomorrow, okay? Please, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No worries on that. So, uh, for now, basically, that's it. Basically, we are done for the day. I honestly love the fact that you guys were practicing all the way. I mean, you never used, or at least didn't use your Spanish that much. And that is the idea. That was the idea behind the activity for you guys to practice, for you guys to speak English. And you did it. So, thank you very much for that. Thank you for your attention and participation in this evening's class. It was very fun. So, thank you. <laughs> See you tomorrow, and I hope you have an amazing night. So, yeah. bye. 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 bye.